bride should make sure they don't make the mistake of having their ceremony too close to sunset. You want to make sure you have enough time with natural light to take portraits of the bride and groom and family after the ceremony. You want to make sure you tell your photographer ahead of time and that way they are aware of situations whether um, there's a divorced family and that way they're not looking for a mother, maybe a father or mother has passed away. You want to make sure you know that ahead of time so when you're doing the group portraits you're not looking for people or asking for people that may or may not be there or may or may not want to be together. Really with a bride, with the bridesmaids, it's, it's great to be able to go out and get some natural environment. So wherever you are, the bride has selected that location because they love the environment. Make sure you get a shot showing that environment with the bride and with the bridesmaids. With the groom and the groomsmen, you want to make sure you capture them just kind of being guys. That's the fun thing. That's what they're doing. Whether they're hanging out in a room watching sports, whatever they're doing, that's what they're going to remember with their day and that's what you want to photograph. You have strong sunlight. It's best to either have the ceremony early in the morning or later in the afternoon. And that way you don't have the sun beaming down on you.